Welcome to the Sunny Boy Smart Energy Installation Guide. This video offers a clear step-by-step -step guide for installing the hybrid inverter in a PV system without a battery. Here are the required tools for the installation. Included in your accessories bag are these items and a zip tie. For an optimal installation, you will need to obtain these pieces for the mounting bracket, which is not included in your shipment. Let's begin with the mounting bracket. Preferably, install the bracket with two screws across two studs. Alternatively, you can use two screws on a single stud. Install the bracket with the hook slots facing downwards. Choose a flat surface to support the weight of the inverter. Insert a washer onto each screw and tighten them with a socket wrench. Next, mount the Sunny Boy Smart Energy onto the bracket. Hold the inverter firmly, align its hooks with the bracket slots, sliding the top hook in first. Pause to check balance and alignment before sliding down completely. To remove the cover, lift SMA's Easy Lock lid and insert your Allen wrench and turn left. The lid should rise slowly. Gently remove the communication cover. Notice the knockout sizes below. Here's a quick overview of the wiring area. On the bottom right, you'll find the AC terminals, the ground bus bar, and the backup secure terminals. Slightly to the left of the AC terminals, you have the communication ports with labels. You may also connect to the homeowner's Wi-Fi using the 360 app. And to the bottom left, you have the DC PV terminals with appropriate labels, while the far right terminals are for the DC battery. For AC wiring, start with the ground cable, inserting it into the ground bus bar and tightening the bolt. Refer to the provided sticker for wiring L1, L2, and neutral wires. Lay the ferrite over the knockout and thread L1, L2, and the neutral conductor through the ferrite. Then, insert a flathead screwdriver to open the clamp and proceed to insert the wires to the respective terminals. For both solid wires and those equipped with ferrules, you can directly insert your wires into the respective terminals without opening the clamps. To uninstall a wire, Insert a small screwdriver here to open the clamp and gently pull out the wire. Use your zip tie to tie the conductors. To safely handle communication wiring, first remove a second knockout plug and then run an ethernet cable from the homeowner's router and through the knockout. Using a second knockout will help avoid any contact between the AC and communication wires. Plug the ethernet cable into any one of these ports. The other unused port can be used for the SMA energy meter. Or you could connect to the homeowner's Wi-Fi network via the 360 app. For the DC wiring, start by grounding the equipment ground conductor to the bus bar and secure it with a screwdriver. To install the PV positive wire, first insert a screwdriver here to open the clamp. Then, insert the wire into the terminal hole. Do the same steps for your PV negative wire. If applicable, repeat these steps for your remaining PV conductors. And be sure to seal any unused knockouts with sealing plugs. To secure the cover, insert the lock through here. Place the cover over the inverter and press down. Gently open SMA's Easy Lock lid, insert your Allen wrench, and turn right to tighten the lock. Double check that the cover is locked in place. Now we can add the side covers. Match the right side label to the opening on the cover. Match the panel inserts to the bracket slot and slide down to secure. The left cover should align with the DC disconnect. And that completes the installation. 
Once you've installed the Sunnyport Smart Energy, allow 10 minutes after powering on the AC and DC to let the system stabilize. When the green and red lights blink continuously and in unison, it signifies that the system has successfully stabilized. Commission your system using the SMA 360 app. For more information, visit sma-america.com or scan this QR code to review the manual. Thanks for watching.